What's up YouTubers and welcome to our League of Legends Top 5 Play segment by Potato Monster. With the introduction of Razor Prizes, the competition is that much more fierce and the win that much more glorified. Coming in at number 5, we have Fascinate playing on Twisted Fate, which is an uncommon pick for starters and to be played in such high level is a clip worth recognizing. So to start this off, he's going to come middle, tossing out the triple cards, hitting Caitlyn, she's going to take some damage and die from the turret. Crumbs is coming, dealing some nice damage, but he's going to stun and another triple card to pick up the double kill. So that is 3 for O exchange as of right now, and we're going to speed this clip up as they are following her. Janna is going to land the snare onto Alistar, and they're going to get stuck on the creeps for just a second, getting knocked up there. Shreya's veil is popped, and here comes the flash from Twisted Fate, gold card Q, and then his ultimate is going to go up, and he's going to try to run away, but the tornado and gold card will bring him very low, even though he is in his ultimate, and he's going to flash away. But a straight card will pick up for the fourth kill in that 4 for 0 exchange coming from the hands of TF. I smell a TF comeback. At fourth place is New Sensation playing Jan, and we're going to jump right into the heart of this clip as she comes from jungle and her team is losing the fight. So she's going to toss out her tornado, interrupting the Malzahar ultimate, and they will start to hightail it out of there with Ghost Pop the Malzahar, and the slowdown from Nasa is going to go up. So Akali's going to toss down her shroud, and Jan's going to try to turn around and shield there. She dodges the Q, and an arrow's going to come stunning him, and Akali's going to take the chance to get on him quickly, bursting him down with some help, immediately falling. A beautiful ultimate's going to knock the entire enemy team back, and immediately they're going to start to retreat back towards their tower. She's looking for the blood token, and she's going to dodge it as they have reached out and the volley shroud are going to go on to slow down and now they're going to turn it around as Jan is going to bait them and they will go on to pick up a few more kills and a great turnaround after an amazing escape. Coming in at our third place spot is a quick little clip that really ends with a boom by Stall 10 on Zillion. At the start we follow Malphite that is waiting for his team to catch up and he's going to use his ultimate on all five enemy players. The Vladimir ult's going to come up and then the boom from a single bomb quadra kill followed by the ace finishing the game with a bang. And for our second place spot for this week is Lord X playing an AD sign which also isn't the most common choice. And we start right into the heat of the battle with the Gaily ultimate. The enemy team chases down Cassidy and they're going to bring him down. So now it is an all out 1v4 as he's going to pop his ultimate auto attack falling dangerously though. He's going to continue life steal with no health switching to the minions really quickly after picking up his first kill onto the grogs. He's going to do this because they have less armor and it's going to give him a little bit more health. And he's going to continue to life steal with barely any health. And finally his team is going to make it to him as he will walk away with two kills while living on a thread. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Lesser Mouse Deer and Soraka in a very high elo game, and we start this final clip off with this team getting stomped by the enemy team. If you know anything about the game, you know that an ace is only the Nexus turret left at this point in the game is a GG, especially at this rating. Soraka is going to head back to the base with only herself and Dyrus and Udi are alive and they're, the enemy team is going to start a final push to win the game as Luster Mouse Deer meets up with them and the epic defense begins as she constantly keeps tossing out Starfall and her E onto the enemy team and Dyrus runs in there as well trying to kill Kaelin but he ends up going down now to 1v5 Soraka still at the towers as the first tower is going to fall and Trundles is going to try to back up but he's going to go down now they're going to jump on the Soraka but the flash shield comes down and Cassiopeia is going to end up dying as well and she's going to turn around with the help of the minions and will pull off the unthinkable 1v5 ace with the next to half HP. And now we're going to look bottom as the super minions are going to keep pushing in and the game is won all thanks to the Soraka that never gave up. And the winner for this week's player's choice is Inglacial on Blitzcrank with a hilarious and unexpected turnout of his hook. Let your voice be heard for who wins this spot on our video every single week at PotatoMonster.com and click on the vote link that's there for player's choice. Watch all three clips that are there and vote. Also tune in on Wednesday's episode of Fry's Prize to see which random subscriber slash person on Facebook that liked us wins the Razer Megalodon 7.1 surround sound headset. The winner has not been chosen yet, so please like, favorite, subscribe, and like us on Facebook for the best shot at winning this lottery, and you still have a chance to do it right now. Thank you guys for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this presentation of Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays.